want to see their mums crying, want to see their mums suffering. You go in jail, you can't even come out and help your mum with no fucking food on the table now. You can't help your mum when you're in jail, fam. You can't help your mum when you're fucking dead. You want to see, see certain men that really passed, you know, RIP. So they don't, they don't get to see how their mum suffered after they passed. A lot of men I've seen mum and parents suffer. Never the same after they pass, and they don't get to see that. They're sleeping now, God rest their soul, but if they could only see how their mum had it so hard, or their dad or their family members had it so hard, they wouldn't have took that course of life they took, do you understand what I'm saying? This is what we've got to start getting through to the young G's. If you really care about your parents, then you might need to change the direction or course of action that you're doing right now. Think about that, because your parents need you more than you think. Man, they've got to remember this thing, our parents need us more than we think, remember? We're that next generation, you know? We're the generation that's supposed to make things calm for them, make them rest up easy now while they're doing their thing. You understand? Right now, we're creating our parents more stress than we're creating them peace, brother. That's what's going on. Our parents are going through more stress than they are peace, my brothers and sisters, you know? You gotta remember, especially these young youths and that. You know what you got your parents going through? Them sleepless nights, man. Had mad. Listen, I used to make my dad have mad sleepless nights. But the same thing, I know the thing now, innit? So we gotta try to reverse the thing. We can't be having parents suffering. Do you understand when they're supposed to be living easy? Come on, man. We've we got to be bringing peace to our parents, man. Do you understand? And prosperity. We can't be bringing pain and agony to them, fam. Come on, them sort of things, they're short in our parents' life, you know. You've got to recognise the real thing. You want your parents to live a sort of long life and a happy life. And bring them so much torment and so much pain, fam. And they'll live better. Do you understand what I'm saying? Big up all the mums and all the parents, all the grannies and that, that do wonderful jobs and that for their grandkids and their kids, you know. With the parents that are really trying hard, with the grands that are really trying to hard without them pillars of the community, you get me? Don't know what time it is, 9-5. And let me tell the man them something straight as well. Brother, don't worry about a fucking what a man's got. I keep hearing man lately, well, wow, this man's got this, this man's got. Fuck what a man's got, brother. If you're worried about what a man's got, you got insecurity going on. Your life needs checking, fam. Yeah? Don't worry about what the next man's got beside you, bro. Work for your family. Do what you gotta do for your family. How you letting the next man take you off your squares, bro? How can you let a next man take you off your square, my brother? Yeah? Not a G shit, bro. That's not G shit. A next man can't come take you off your square because you're looking at what he's doing next to you, bro. Bro, get active on your own thing. Get active on your own life. Your own life's important, brother. You see what? So much man just get caught away in the wind with this whole gang thing or this whole lifestyle thing, yeah? And don't even really think about their own life until it's too late. Like, what have you progressed with your life? Like, I heard something the other day, someone said to something, what has this gang life got you? So when you can't show nothing for what this gang life's got you, you got to reconsider, brother. From when you can't show nothing, this gang life has got you, dude. you got to reconsider if this gang life's even worth it, brother. Yeah, we love our brothers and we love the people that we ride for. We love the people them that are close to us, but... Yeah, if you really love them, then you change the course of action if they're going wrong as well, innit? Real talk, people need to be strong enough to quit drugs themselves. Everywhere you go, there's going to be drugs, you know? you got to remember this. Everywhere you step in this land, there's going to be drugs. But you, as a man, as an ex-addict or something, you got to be able to say to yourself, you know what? I'm not going to touch that no matter where it may be. You understand? That's where real strength comes in. Do you get me? So a lot of people have been getting at me, telling me like they really respect me, trying to it's like clean up the ends, man. You get me? That's what we're doing. We're cleaning up our ends. We, we, we want to receive respect where respect is due, innit? We don't want to be given respect where respect ain't due, fam. That's the last thing we want to do. If we're standing on truth here, yeah, then you have to give respect where respect is due, innit? And right now, certain things going on in our community. I don't see man should be given that respect, you get me? That big man thing, innit? Like, the stand that was kept away from the man, them, fam. Like, certain things you couldn't just see in the open, like how everything is running around now, all reckless. Do you get what I'm saying? So, man is only giving respect where respect is due anyway. Yeah, so, big up all the people them and that, that support the message, you know, and know what it really is and that, you get me? Like, you have to look through it and see what it really is, fam.